This is Kootenai Lake, and there are a few free ferries in the area, but this is the world's longest free scenic ferry. Now, my dad always told me nothing is ever free, so we're gonna be tracking all of the costs of this trip to find out how much it actually costs to come ride the free ferry. I'm Mike, the channel's Downy Live. Let's go back to the beginning. And so we're starting here in Vancouver, British Columbia, because it's the closest metropolitan city to the ferry. So if you were flying in from anywhere around the world to come see this, you'd land here and then drive out to the Kootenays. But also, I live in Vancouver, so this is just kind of our starting point. Also, to save a little bit of money on gas, instead of taking a car, we are taking a motorcycle. It also helps that it's, it's mine, so it's, it's free, because I already have it. Also, you know I prefer to do these trips with someone. You already know who I've roped into it. I roped him into a motorcycle trip last year where I made him sleep in a children's treehouse, a vintage tugboat, an alpaca farm, and then made him sit four days on the Via Rail train. Ladies and gentlemen, Riley is back on the channel. What's up? That's the energy we need. Ready? I'm pumped, let's go. Here we go, keep going. <laughs> and so, we're off to go see the world's longest free ferry. Now the route we took had us winding up Highway 1 along the Fraser Canyon. And as we cross through each tunnel, the landscape gets drier and warmer, where we eventually stop for gas in Lytton, BC. Now we were there at the beginning of a heat wave with temperatures reaching above 40 degrees Celsius, which is not fun when you're on a motorcycle and don't have air conditioning. It's currently 34 degrees Celsius out, which is really hot when you're wearing black riding layers, so Gatorade time. Now, thinking about this now, this footage actually might be some of the last video filmed of the town standing, as about a week later, it was completely devastated by a wildfire. This entire town is gone now, and hundreds of people were left without a home. We were fortunate enough to visit the town before the fire, and we, like Lytton, had no way of knowing the devastation that was coming. I've added a link to the Lytton Relief Fund in the description below, and hopefully you can join me in contributing to those affected by the wildfire. With no knowledge of what was to come and a fresh tank of gas, we were on our way to the tiny village of McClure, BC to ride on a reaction ferry. And this is our first stop of the day. This is the McClure Ferry. Well, it's over there. We're in McClure, British Columbia, which is a little bit north of Kamloops. Okay, let's see if we can get his attention. I think we, I think it says we have to honk. <laughs> All right, here he comes. It's not a big ferry. This, in fact, is a reaction ferry. So it's actually gonna use the power of the river to move it across the river, rather than being motorized somehow. So the ferry attaches itself to this guide wire here. If we look at this shot from above, it looks as if the ferry has two pontoons pointed up river, while the area for the vehicles to load sort of goes across the river. So it's not what we know of a traditional ferry but it will propel itself using the force of the river across the river. So what you need to make this ferry work is a year round strong current. If you don't have strong current, a reaction ferry won't work. This river flows nonstop year round. Although he said he was closed for about a week due to high river water. So like any ferry it can be impacted. Oh, and the river freezes. So they're, they're closed when it's frozen obviously as well. Well, once you get off on this side, we have a road going to a winery and a cidery and then a dirt road. We're a little tight on time because I have a few more things I need to show you on our way to the world's longest free scenic ferry. So uh, we're, we're, we're gonna wait for him to come back so, so we can head back and keep going. Now, unfortunately, we're not gonna make it to the world's longest free scenic ferry by tonight. So we, instead, we are gonna stay at Riley's new home in Salmon Arm. We are sitting out here in 35 degrees Celsius. It is a very hot. Not a lot of options in Cache Creek. Yeah. It was like three minutes since we parked the motorcycles to being on the water. <laughs> Comment below how I'm, how I'm doing. I'm new to this. I am exhausted from that. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. And staying with Riley and Sarah means tonight's stay is also free. Great little stop here in Salmon Arm. It's time to keep going. Go see that ferry. Uh, this is not the boat we're coming to see. This is the Needles Crossing. Why, why do you always say yes to these trips? I love hanging out with you, Mike. Okay, you don't have to flatter me just because the camera's <laughs> 
So to get a better idea of the ferries in the area, I thought I'd come and stop and say hi to the people that actually make them and run them in this area. So this is Marinas. Which one are you gonna show us today? We're gonna take you to a cable ferry. This particular boat has three cables. It's got two guide cables and a drive cable. We turn a pull wheel, which pulls the ferry across the lake. And then instead of having a propeller, it's like pulling a rope to get across. Exactly. I know this is always rude to ask about money, but can I ask how much a ferry like this costs? I don't know the final numbers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I believe the whole project for the four boats was around the $20 million mark. Oh, okay. So that's less than I expected. Yeah. This is a single operator ferry. He can manage the entire vessel. It's easy to land and uh, transit the crossing. One man show, that's him up there. Hey, Michael. Pleasure to meet you. It's all right. Riley. 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 What's your job like? Oh, some days you just don't stop. Well, winters no. are quieter? No, oh. no. Actually, sometimes it's more active in the winter. Yeah, due to logging and snow machining. That would be LR. This, I assume, is the fun stick. This is the back and forth stick. Yeah, I mean, pretty simple. Pretty simple. And you might just have the best office view I've seen in a long time. Oh, you get some amazing sunsets on here. I bet. And so that is the Aero Park 3 Cable Ferry. Come check it out anytime. It's free! <laughs> and you get to see all of this! In the Any recommendations for a lunch spot in the cusp? So I didn't get the name of the guy who owns the gas station, but he recommended the Patty Shack. <laughs> and I always take good local advice, and so far, this iced coffee. So far, so good. Riley ordered the bacon cheeseburger. But when you come to a place like the Patty Shack, you gotta get what they're known for. So this is the Shack Burger. Lunch for two at the Patty Shack, $57. But very worth it. 57 Yeah, with tip. It's not a very big ferry terminal. We have about a half an hour until it's here, so let's wander around and check things out. Snacks, water, flags, t-shirts, greeting cards. Best of all. Fireworks! Have you ever seen the movie Cars? This reminds me of that. You know I'm always up for a poutine, but I'm still full from the burger at the Patty Shack. And the last shop is of course an ice cream shop, and then a uh, nice beach in the lake. Look at that! A beach patio on the other side, it's even nicer over here. This is a pretty nice place in the world. Where is everybody? It is Thursday. People work, Mike. Not everyone gets to just travel the world like you do. In the summertime? Oh, this whole lot is full. Seven lanes, and sometimes it's up the highway. Wow! So yeah. this is a summer destination. Well, absolutely, big time. Look at that, we're here for it. Well, this is it! We've come all this way for this moment. I'm not gonna lie, once you get here, there's not a whole lot to see. This is it, this is our view. There's some seating up here where you'd have fantastic views of the whole experience, but there's still some COVID restrictions that don't allow us to roam around. You have to stay in your vehicle. So luckily, uh, Riley and I ride motorcycles, so we get to be out in the sun rather than in a car, but we will be experiencing the ferry from here. So we just got off the ferry and we really just came to ride that ferry. So we're, we're just next in line to take it back. But we have about 45 minutes till the next one. This is our moment, Riley. This is what we're here for. The ferry, pretty much all to ourselves. So there are two ferries on this route. The MV Osprey and the MV Balfour. So we took the Osprey last time. This is Balfour, a little bit smaller. I think it's the older boat. Oh, we're gonna turn around. Oh, yeah. We're going this way. Look at that, you just turned it around. I was trying to stay positive by being like, ah, oh, we're at the back, we won't be able to see. Get turned around. Now we're at the front page. Keep a positive attitude, things will turn around for you. Literally. 100%. I recommend this ferry, the Ball Four. This one's much better for the views. Look at this.
Now, I know the whole point of this trip and the title of this video is to see the world's longest free scenic ferry. But I'm gonna be honest here, that's simply a destination. The ferry, as we saw, is eight kilometers long and only lasts 35 minutes. So why would we ride our motorcycles two full days to ride a 35 minute ferry? The truth is I enjoy the journey more than the actual destination. Think of everything that we've experienced just to get here. Riding on a reaction ferry, a cable ferry, riding past moose, stopping at a tiny gas station in the middle of nowhere, but still getting the best lunch recommendation. Uh, look, I'll, I'll tell you the truth here. Riley has his new daughter, Maddie, and has moved five hours away from where I live in Vancouver. So I'd be lying if I didn't say that this trip was kind of an excuse to get out and spend some time together again. Life is about these small moments together, even if it is just sitting on a patio with a pizza in a small town. And so with that, it's time for bed. You know what I always do. Then... Jump on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just acting it out. Oh, I can't redo that. You know what I always do when we get a fresh hotel room. Jump on the bed. <laughs> now, looking at our total cost for this so-called free trip, we have to add up all of the gas, the food, and last night's hotel costs, which brings us to a grand total of... That's it for today's video. I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you there with me. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Mike. It's Downey Live, new adventure videos just like this every single week. So consider subscribing. And if you want to be a bigger part of the channel, you can join $5 a month. Helps to keep adventures like this running and I give you bonus features over there. If you don't want to, that's okay too. See you next week.